What's up everybody, Tindo here, that there's Hannah Warrior Princess, and listen, we're driving across town today, start off today to sell somebody this inbox Wii, which is always a great way to start the day, so let's get that done, and then since we're over here, we'll go thrifting on this side of town. Sound good? Stick around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Perfect. it's all great. Here's that for you. Thank you. Alrighty. Get your money? Got it. All good. Checked all of these for video games except for the CD section and check it. Let's go. Let's go. Except I already have that. Aw, poor Linda. They're really cute though. I would like the present. They're really nice. <laughs> the school bill's pretty bare. Doesn't look like we're gonna find a lot, but just because this quiz whiz has a Star Wars book in it, uh I think that's what we're gonna get. We're at least leaving here with this. Now let's see if there's anything else practical here I need. If you watched yesterday's episode, you'll know we have a new space to work out of and we've been working really hard to get it straightened up and ready to do our eBay and our reselling out of. And I need some office supply. I don't know how to explain it. I need an organizer, like a paper organizer. There usually is just a ton of them. I don't see what I'm looking for. Some of you are probably, oh, okay, here's one. I need this, but bigger and more usable. I'm sure it has a nice name that makes sense, but it eludes me currently. It's really tempting because there's this little tea set here and they've got the cream and the sugar and the teapot and then there's like five mugs over in the mug section. They're really cute, but I mean, I think in all, it's just gonna be too expensive to get the whole thing but I'm really tempted, like that's, I think it's from Japan and it's really nice, it's really cute. So I just put this thing back though. I like it. Any more canisters, little cactus top ones? It's a prickly pear cactus in case you're wondering. Ooh, this is kind of cool. There's, I think a salsa company or something in Arizona, yeah. They make, they have these same jars that I really like, but they're very Southwestern and say Arizona on them. It's very tempting. Little house cookie jars. This set's really pretty too, little apples. Not in great condition. Hmm. See, here's another one. They're really fun. But it's like branded specifically for some company. So I feel weird trying to flip that to sell. I don't, yeah, no. <laughs> What's the little hot pot? It's got a little birdie on top of the chip beak. Toys are pretty bare. I guess we better make sure there's nothing we have to have. Look at all this, nothing. They must have got wiped out yesterday. As of filming this, yesterday was Saturday. So. They probably got hit hard yesterday. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything in the plushies. Well, I say that, and there's a big old squirtle. Let's see if he's cheap. Uh, he's not cheap enough. Even though he does still have his tag on it, that's all right, but try not to pay five bucks for plushies. You know what I'm saying, saying? Ooh, he feels nice, Donald. Now, actually, uh, look at these Care Bears. We looked at our sales receipts for our flea market booth from yesterday and we sold some Care Bears, but we have some like plushy Care Bears and some hard, uh, just a bunch of Care Bear stuff. And I don't know what sold. If it was the plushies, I should probably get these to replace them, but 
but they're not that cheap. Why do the cute bowls not stack well? Stack better. Because then I would get you and use you, but you don't stack well, so you won't fit in my cupboard. This is pretty cool. Little mushroom. These might be worth something. Probably not. This is pretty cheap, but check it out. I found one of those dope pricing guns in the toy section, and uh, for obvious reasons, we kind of need one. So I'm gonna get it and order a roll for it and see if it works. This is really cool. This is like funky looking candle, but this is what's cool about it. It's apparently, it's a company that if you buy a candle, it helps provide free meals to a starving child, which is really cool. And it smells really good, so. Check them out. Bridgewater Candle Company. I like it. All right, not a bad haul. Star Wars Quiz Whiz and Formula One Championship Edition, a PlayStation 1 game I don't have. Always happy to find those. 229. I'll take it. All right, let's, uh, let's keep moving. You know, we just did something terrible. We passed up another Goodwill to come here because there's a goodwill in between here and the last one that's just oh so bad. I was like, I don't I don't want to go in here and get discouraged. So let's just go to one that's usually okay. This one's usually all right for games, so let's try. What are you getting? Dishes. Dishes. Found a really beautiful pair of white Wranglers. Like these a lot. And there's a surprise on the back. Are you ready for this? Boom! Super mix. They're actually really beautiful does like kind of limit my clientele a bit because um, only a certain demographic of people can wear them without cultural appropriation, but they're really, the, the work on them is really beautiful. Really the only video game I can find is a bunch of Skylanders and Madagascar, and I'd buy this, but I'll wait for a copy with the, with the manual in it. Rip. This is curious. This looks straight off the set of Tom Sawyer. Why? Why? I found something for Hannah. She's gonna lose her mind. Donald, Donald from uh, Kingdom Hearts in the Monster World. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, please. Oh, why are you so muffed up? Dang it, that sucks he's in such rough shape. I think I'm still gonna get it. Got some corning wear. Two bucks for that's not bad. We should have the lid. Might not get it without the lid. Let's see. Oh, hey. Wow, that's in good condition. We'll get. That looks to be it in the little cooking section. Moving on. What'd you find? Close your eyes. You got them closed? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put something in your hand. I'm scared. Okay, now open them. <laughs> I got that for you. Well, I got that. I picked it up for you to get for you. We'll take. Okay. Okay. I think somebody really must have donated their 90s collection because it's Lord Zed. What? Right next to the Wolverine. At least Lord Zed isn't chewed on. Let's go. How much is he? Well, no price tag. I wonder if there's more. There's gotta be more. Some cute stuff going on in the canister section, like this guy here. It's really pretty. I might get that. Cool house cookie jar. A little gingham thing. It looks like a looks like a puppy treat jar. That's definitely worth considering. Little coral thing back there is cute too. Oh, these are so cute. Well, too much, but. That one's really cute too. I would have gotten that if it was cheaper. Hmm. This is a angry baby bag. Why are you so mad? Why is she so mad? So here is a wall hanging document holder thingy. It's okay, but it's still not perfect for what I need, so I'm gonna keep looking. Here's uh, the seating for that Tom Sawyer play. Some church pews. What happened? Why are these things here? What happened? There is more saber tooth. Oh my God, now I'm gonna have nightmares that I'm leaving something else behind. Come on out here, look at this. Oh my God, Wolverine saber tooth. You know who that is? 
Power Rangers something? You know, yeah, Lord oh. Zed. Oh, okay. And then you probably got find of the day though. Yay! And then what's this? Um, my actual find of the day? <laughs> <laughs> All right then, fine. I'm sorry, I tried to help. Well, for toys, that was pretty crazy. Um, Kingdom Hearts, Donald, Monsters, Inc. Did we see this online? Like, I've seen this before. Maybe we saw it in a game store or something? I think we saw it in a game store. How happy does that make you? Not happy? I mean, I'm very excited for you. Well, I'll tell you what's kind of a bummer. You know, I, there's a lot of toys that I've rotated in and out of my toy shelf over the span of having this channel and doing what we're doing. And uh, a lot of it, of course, is at our toy booth for sale now because if I'm really gonna go all in on game collecting, there's just no need to keep too much of the other stuff. So I pretty much kind of narrowed my toy collecting down to Power Rangers and to uh, Mario stuff, right? But this makes me want to go run to my toy shop and get them all out of there and bring them back home because the more of them I find, it's just, I love them. I just love these these simple colored 12 inch figures from the 90s. They're really cool. They really are. And then the Power Ranger ones are always doofy. That's the second one of these I found. Look how thick those legs are. He's very disproportionate. Dude is thick. <laughs> Triple C's. All right, let's keep moving. Let's see if that <laughs> you gotta calm down! I was about to rage. <laughs> Cheers. Ow! <laughs> Today's not my day. That really did hurt. I'm sorry. All right. This Goodwill right here is not a bad one. So it's, it's often all right. There's an airplane. There's a hammer. Hello. It is still here. I want it. I'm pretty sure it was more than that last time, but still not paying that much. These are cute. Little pansy plates, because more is merry. -er. Merrier. <laughs> Little pedestal. It's cute. Like a jewelry tray, I guess. Oh, it's by Mikasa? That's pretty cool. This is beautiful. Swing to Christmas. Cri cri crispness. Christmas. It's Rice Krispies. It's kind of cool. But it's like. Anytime something says vintage, it's definitely not, so. Not gonna end up leaving the store with very much, but green is half off, isn't it? It is. All right, well, let's get, let's get power drum. Woo! Charlie, Charlie, Candy Mountain Charlie, Charlie. All right, I got a video game. I already have this, I actually only bought it because my copy is one of those uh, Hollywood video copies, no manual. This is in perfect condition, so I'll just replace mine. Yeah, we're not doing too bad for a leisurely Sunday of thrifting. It's chill. It's pretty much one of the two days a week here. They don't really restock. I mean, they will sometimes, just depending on the situation, but we've not been seeing a lot of that today, which makes it surprising that we've found as much as we have. So let's give it another go. A little world market mug with a lid. Of course it's world market. I love world market. I think I'll get that. And this, this stop won't be for nothing. This thing is really cool. It's even got like a little desk here. Ugh. I'd have loved this when I was a kid. They want $150 for it, which I feel like is a bargain, but I don't need it. Glad monster. That's me. I guess that means it's Hannah. <laughs> well, I got it. So, does that mean we can quit? 
Yeah, I guess so. All right, next stop is the Brass Armadillo, where our toy booth is. Let me tell you why we're here real quick. Uh, it's not really a secret. It's kind of a secret. I mean, it's, it's like our worst kept secret. Hannah, high five, gets to open her dishes booth tomorrow. And it's going to take all day tomorrow. So Monday is usually the day we have to come check on this place because there's usually toys on the ground and stuff. So we came here today on Sunday just to get it out of the way so we can spend all day on Hannah tomorrow. I'm so excited! Tomorrow's Hannah day. Yay! All right, let me show you exactly, exactly why we came here today. Nerf guns on the ground. Sometimes we come in here on Monday and they're just, you know, they're all on the ground. Figure out how to hang this one up. This one's so awkward. But I didn't want to be focusing on Hannah's booth all day tomorrow and, uh, you know, worry about having to come out here. So now that I know this is gonna be all right. You know those 90s figures that I just bought? Here's more of them. Should I take them home and put them back on the shelf? <laughs> now nah, I'll probably get those that I just bought priced and put in here. It's just not something I'm ever gonna have the room for, but I do like them. I do like looking at them, especially this beast. I bought that one in my hometown. These guys are all thrifted here in town. They're about to have some more company though. There were a few more. There was some Daredevil and some other stuff up there that has sold, but we're kind of just standing here looking around and trying to figure out what might have sold today. There's a couple little things missing. Yesterday was a pretty good day. Somebody bought the Captain America shield that was here. What was the other thing? Someone bought the Boba Fett helmet. Bo <laughs> the Boba Fett helmet. Boba Fett <laughs> We're gonna do one more stop on the way back home. This darn branch, I cried chopped it last time we're here, it's still here. We're gonna do one more. That's all there is to it. Whether it's good or bad, whether we get nothing or a car load, this is gonna be it. Unless we find another one on the way home. This is really tempting. There's two hurricane lamp shades. I mean, it would just be one of those things that I would buy just to one day maybe need, but I mean, just two shades that I do currently have a hurricane lamp that needs a shade, but that's the wrong size for it. $6.49 is not a bad price, but it would just kind of sit around until I finally found something that worked for it. It just wouldn't make a lot of sense, so we won't get it. Oh yes, this is the big book of Pokemon. B six ma. K. Uh-oh, Legos, Legos. I guess I'll take this. You know, when you were a baby cat, you two could kind of squeeze on here, but I think we're getting to the point where either we need a bigger cat perch or you need to take a step down. You know what I'm saying? Look at you, you're about to burst out of here. You didn't even lay by pants this time. You just laid on top of them. Pants, at least you're nice about it. I'd have kicked her off. Okay. Okay. Look, you're falling off. <laughs> get, get back up on there. Get, tuck, tuck in. There you go. Squuzzed on up in there, didn't you? Hello, Pantar. You're so indifferent. Real quick before we get out of here, I wanna explain what I bought this thing today for at the thrift. Some of you might have already got it. If you've watched yesterday's episode, you'll probably know. If you didn't, go back and catch yesterday's episode because it was one of the best episodes we've posted in a little while. It was such a great day. And uh, what we did in yesterday's episode is we started setting up our new workshop, which is, this is one side of it. You don't wanna see the other side because it's a mess right now. But uh, this is where we print shipping labels and print some of the products that we sell over on tindostrash.com. Some of the artwork we make, some of the stickers and everything we make. This whole wall is for that. I set up our computer today, this beautiful Alienware yellow case, which should be in the yellow game room, but I like it so much. We're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it in here. But I bought this today because, and I need like five more of them, but we have a thousand different kinds of paper that we print with, right? Like these, I've got big photo papers 
And then we've got sticker papers. And I have been driving myself absolutely nuts going over here to this pile of paper and going, I just need regular printer paper. So I'm gonna find a way to label this and just have regular paper. Look, this is high dollar glossy full sheet adhesive stick. It's for stickers. Actually, this is not high dollar. Do not recommend this brand, it's trash. But I've got some nicer brands in here. And this is just one of six billion ways in which I'm planning on making our workshop in here look a little better than it does and be a little bit more functional because between Hannah's booth that we're opening up soon and our other booths and some of the other stuff we're doing, there are so many creative projects that like this space right here is gonna be used for. So I have to get it, I have to get it organized and I have to get it uh, you know, in a way where I can just walk in here and get work done. The next thing I gotta figure out what to do is what to do with these guitars. <laughs> I don't know what to do because these are actually the last four I've kept. My only bass, my only acoustic, I just kept one of each. That was the first guitar I ever owned and this is just my favorite guitar I ever owned so I kept that one. I've owned hundreds of guitars in my life. I'm, I'm an addict when it comes to that but I'm gonna have to find a new home for those. Maybe we hang them in our bed room. There's not really anywhere for them in the game room, but I need that space to hang this stuff on the wall and make our workshop, our, our workshop work a little better. So if you got any suggestions, let me know. What do you think? What should I put there? Some wall hanging shelves? I don't know. I thought about just hanging tons of hooks and hanging all my tools like my rulers and stuff there, but I don't know. We'll, we'll be doing a lot more in the next week or two in this workshop to get it ready. You can see the messy side. Come look over here. Like here's Hannah's dish shelf. Well, she's kind of been transferring it to over here. I think right now she's got all the priced ones over there, right? Yes. So this room is going to be lined with shelves on the other side. It's where we're going to come in and do our eBay work. And I say all this to say in the next couple of weeks, we'll be making a lot of changes in here. And I always appreciate those suggestions when you make them about what we can do with our space. So comment below if you got any ideas. What do you think we need in our workshop? A smoothie machine? I vote yes. All right, guys, we're back home. And it looks like today was another Lego haul. I'll drink to that one. I can't believe we brought another big tub of Legos home. There's not quite as many in here as there was in yesterday's haul there, but there's some good ones in here and I'm pretty happy about it. I can see a couple mini figs floating around. I can't get it open. It was $29.49 then after a coupon, it was like 22 bucks, 20, right at 22 bucks. So I consider this pretty good for 22 bucks. I'll be able to sell them bagged up in individual baggies for a little bit more than that i'll probably make about a hundred bucks off this box which honestly is not the i'm tearing that book up i just broke all of it the handle came off 20 to 100 dollars. i often say stuff like this it's not quite the profit margin that we're looking for people are like well that seems like a no-brainer 20 to 100 and it is if it's easy but like there's a lot of work in these legos you know what i mean like I, there's a lot of things that we buy and resell like video games if it's a if it's a five dollar game and selling for fifteen, I'm out. I I don't want to do that work. It's just not what I'm into. Unless it's like something I can buy a lot of at that price and then put it in my toy booth, then maybe it's okay. I got, I've got a lot of rationale for what I like to actually spend time on. But even though these Legos kind of fall below my normal threshold for what I like to buy and resell it for and how much time I have to put it in into it, I allow it with the Legos because. Well, let's just be honest. I simply love them. I will spend all the time in the world sorting through some Legos and love every minute of it. It's just, it's just what I'm into. So that's actually what I'll be doing tonight. I only did about half of this box from yesterday. You see there's just still tons of Legos in here. I'm gonna probably just dump this into that big box and then uh, spend the rest of the night tonight sorting them and really getting them into pieces so I can get them bagged up and put them in my toy booth and make a few bucks off of them. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Is that Squidward? Oh my gosh. No way. That's awesome. Is I, it actually a Lego? I don't think it's actually a minifig. I don't know what it is. He's kind of ugly. He's got a gun. <laughs> he does, and it's like backwards. Here, let's put it in there right. This is why I love Legos. You don't know what you're gonna find in here. I noticed, I mean, what is some of this stuff from? I don't know. Oh my God! What the heck? All right, well, I'm keeping those, whatever they are. 
That's awesome. SpongeBob Legos. I, I don't know if they're like Legos or some other off-brand or what, but I hope there's more of these guys in here. See, like there's a bunch of these little mini figs. Oh, that's a Green Lantern. It's the Yellow Lantern. Maybe it's actually supposed to be Sinestro. Um, but there's some more Minecraft mini figs in here. Lots of pieces of a Batmobile in there. But what'd you find? What'd you find? It's a Stormtrooper with a ghost in. <laughs> well, that's what it's a Minecraft Stormtrooper. Okay. Well, there's a lot to dig in here. I'm sure one of these days in the next couple weeks or something, maybe I'll do a little bit of a segment on one of our videos with like the best of the best stuff I've found in these recent Lego hauls. Because you better believe I'm setting all these minifigs aside. Now what'd you find? Is that Gary? Is it? It's Gary, half of Gary and his food bowl. <laughs> it really is. There's legit. Okay, so it is, it's a Mega Block set. Ah. Um. That makes sense. SpongeBob Mega Block set. All right, well, we'll have to see how much of that we can piece out and put together. Uh, but I'm happy with the day's haul, and I'm happy that you guys chose to spend today with us as we thrifted on this leisurely Sunday. Definitely come back tomorrow because we post daily videos here. You can come back and hang out with us, and I'm sure we'll go to the thrift. Actually, well, tomorrow's video, if all goes according to plan, Hannah should be starting on her dishes booth, okay? It's gonna be a lot of work. We've been buying up lots and lots of dishes as I'm sure you've seen here on the channel to put in Hannah's booth. Um, we've bought just as much shelving to put in. So I think we have the supplies to do it now. On tomorrow's video, if we get around to doing this in the way that we plan, it's a little difficult because tomorrow's move-in day and it's not exactly clear what time we can and can't show up and stuff. So we might just get a couple shelves in and that be done. So I don't want to promise tomorrow being the day of Hannah where you can come and watch the glory of her dish booth, but it will be the start of it. So definitely come back for that because it's fun, I think, for you to come along on that journey and from beginning to end and watch the first day where it's just white empty shelves and the second day where there's some dishes on it and then the third day where there's like 6,000 dishes and then the fourth day where hopefully we sell them all. So come along, definitely come tomorrow, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can get the notification tomorrow when we post that video and uh, you can come hang out with us then. Also, before we get out of here, guys, go check out our Discord. There's a link for it below. Come chat with us, come hang out with us. It's a good time over there, promise. Also, before you go, check out our merch store, tindostrash.com. Go check out our merch, which I'm not wearing. Shame on me, I should be, but you know, your boy likes his tank tops. Maybe we should get some merch tank tops. Hit that like button if you think we should get a Tindo tank. It'd be pretty dope. Think so, Hannah? Yeah. All right, guys, we're out of here. I've got a lot of Legos to sort, so you're gonna have to leave me alone so I can do it. So until tomorrow, peace out. Thank you.